Hey, welcome to an episode of me playing games. Where it's a throwback Thursday game where I'm playing Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2. This is one of the first games I remember completing and one of the first Dragon Ball Z games, games I ever played. I think I only played two other Dragon Ball Z games before this. So, we're gonna get right into the story mode. I'm gonna load my old game and see what I can do in the story mode. Or the Dragon World. Come Goku, you and your friends together will defeat one enemy after another. So, sounds just like the show. Long, long, long ago, seven Dragon Balls were forged, which when gathered together would summon the Eternal Dragon to grant a single wish. The quest, well, for over time, the lair of the Dragon Balls has attracted a host of powerful villains. Like Garlic Jr. and the world, those people. In order to protect the Earth and prevent the Dragon Balls from falling into evil hands, Goku has thrown himself into battle. Many, many times. Ever since we were a little kid. It always is fueled by a single burning desire to be the best. Just like Vegeta is. But Vegeta's not the best. So, the gameplay is in this kind of like board system. Where you go find fights so, on like a board game. This is the planet where Kakarot is supposed to be. Well, I would have thought you already yeah. knew that. And those Dragon Ball things have to be on this planet as well. These characters are pretty dumb. First, how about we exterminate the people on this planet with the Cybermen? Man, these Saiyans uh, are pretty uh, e uh, evil. This soil uh, uh, should grow uh, some <coughs> fine Cybermen. I don't think that would be my first Reddit? thing. You hunt if I came to take over a planet, I'll I came to a planet, Dragon Balls I'll probably deliver like, them to try to enslave it or something like that. Not just... Oh, I'm totally Fine, gonna kill everybody. Done. And uh, I don't understand in this game why Radix and Nappa came together. Radix came first, and then Nappa and Vegeta. But whatever. So, we go along this grid. We're gonna go along this grid to fight these guys. So, when I get to select an ally, I guess I'll select like Krillin. Yeah, that's okay. Whatever. I'm gonna make it actually a little more like the TV show, I guess. Okay, so... There's me and Krillin. And me and Krillin. Oh, I guess I can play, pick one of these guys. And pick up a sword. Yeah! Plus 10% attack, I guess. That's cool. Now it's Krillin's turn. It's really like a... turn-based board game kind of deal. I think the green bar represents how powerful you are, because, of course, Krillin is less powerful. So, now it's enemy's turn. And they're gonna do not nothing. Oh no! Radius is doing something! What is this? This is confusing. If this is supposed to be Earth, why was Dende right there? Ah, uh, this game's not 100% what I remember like, but now let's go into our first battle. Krillin versus the Saban. Oh yeah. 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 Sure. Yep, they're pretty creepy. Not as creepy as Why does he have all the on his forehead like a dragon ball? Okay. But yeah, start battle. And yep, start battle. Okay, let's beat the heck out of this thing. So basically if you do the combo. Yeah, uh, if you like you can uh, uh, Okay, so with my command may I definitely got the upper hand on this green little guy. So just some more kicking and punching and I got a yeah, shoot some energy blast out. I'm just a normal human but I still shoot energy out of my hand. And now I've got Whoa, oh, there's another one of them. I probably won the match, or the battle, but there's another one of these crazy little green guys. Man, he looks like he has a brain on the outside of his head. Come here, my god! Oh, man, he counted it. And he totally knocked me over. And he's doing that whole, oh, Dragon Ball Z pump up thing. Well, let's just do them into the ground. This guy is no match for me. I don't really know how to fly up in the air like this guy is, so I'm just gonna kick and punch out of them. And no, no, 
It's gonna shoot acid at me. Yeah, I got one. Come here, Maya. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna punch him, and I'm gonna just beat this guy if he doesn't keep running away. Come on. Come over here. Ooh, hey, that's KO. That guy's out for the count. Uh oh. Man, another one battle by Krillin. And let's see. So I beat that guy up, and I'm gonna get some kind of skill. I uh, guess I'll use later and move on to something else in this game. So, you're gonna have to pay him. One of those same guys, another one pops up just out of the ground. This would be the most efficient ev army ever. If this is really an army on Earth, just spawning soldiers out of the ground that are more powerful than any human on Earth. And Goku's gonna run over here to give his armor, which I don't really know what it does. I don't remember, but I guess it gives you plus 30% to your armor. So that's pretty cool. So, even though Chrome would just totally get destroyed by Radix, I'm actually gonna go challenge Radix. Yeah. By the anime, that line would make sense. And so, whatever. Chrome doesn't have the good lines to retort, anyways, so I'm just gonna skip over his lines and I'm gonna go right into the battle. And Krillin vs. Radix. It would be really in Radix's favor. Radix would just destroy him in the anime. But it's Krillin's revenge. Krillin is just gonna do a Kamehameha! And blow off Radix's arm. And gonna do some punching, some more punching, and some super punching. Just like the Blue Dragon Ball Z anime. Yeah, like this is real anyways. And no one can land a kick. But whatever. Yeah, punch him in the back. Even though Radix gets punched a million times, his armor never breaks. And Kamehameha! Yep, Kamehameha right into his stomach and his armor is still intact. A super mega beam of energy and no worse for wear. But whatever, no blood or anything like that. That's cool. Kamehameha! I don't know if Krillin can really shoot that many Kamehameha's in a row, or how draining that would be, but, uh, who cares? Shoot ball energy on my hand. And, <laughs> wow, that looked like a super uh, painful punch. It looks like Krillin would die from it. And Krillin's just like, blending all these kicks to Radix's face, and Radix has barely done anything. And, yeah, kick him in the face. I knocked him so high, I knocked him into the air. And I tried to do a super flying maneuver, but it did not work out. And oh, I look like I'm dead. But of course I get up because this is Dragon Ball Z. And even though Kuro can die, if he does die in the anime, he can't die right now. And come on, man, man, to win it. No, nope. guess it didn't work. <laughs> wow, I just got double axe handled on my bald head. Looks like I'm dead again, but guess not. And even though Radix looks like he's read a lot of the most devastating blows, I'm gonna win! Kamehameha! Ah, and a miss! I'm like, Kamehameha, come on! And knockout! Yeah, beat him while he's down. Beat him while he's down. And Krillin beats Radix in an upset victory. And <laughs> Kamehameha has knocked out body. That's awesome. So, the Dragon Ball Z and if there's a Dragon, Dragon Ball Z transition, and we go back to our separate corners of the ring. And now Radix is going to attack Krillin. Can Krillin defeat Radix for the second time in a row? Have you come here just no, I didn't really do that. Like come on, Krillin, have a backbone. Have some confidence in yourself. You just beat him not too long before. And now you can use your shiny head powers to beat him again. But whatever. Oh, that's another battle with the Radix vs. Krillin. And let's see how the victory can be. Oh, and Krillin gets the upper hand in the beginning. With all his crazy kicks. Kicks him into the air. What I always wonder is, how is he kicking into the air like that? And Kamehameha! There's just gonna be something. But, Krillin counters with the Kamehameha. Even though Radix is a stronger, stronger person in this battle, Krillin and he really was in some great technique that I guess he learned from Master Roshi. And Kamehameha! 
Looks like Ryan and Stephanie are no match for Quillen's awesome Kamehameha. And Quillen is using only the Kamehameha because that is the only thing I can I know how to command Quillen, Quillen to do. And that's awesome kicks. <laughs> totally just breaking Radix's back against that mountain side of the mountain. And double sunny. Oh, wow, that looks like that hurt. It looks like it should have decapitated Quran, but whatever. Kamehameha! And his armor is no worse for the air. He's trying to Kamehameha right into Radix's shoes, but they're still on his feet. And Quran keeps letting those punches. And Kamehameha! And Radix looks like he's dead. Down for the count. And a low blow punch. Wow. Oh, he sent Radix flying over the water. And through the mountain, or through, yeah, pretty much through the mountain, and come out on the other side, and yeah, Radix must be dead. Oh, nothing cool wins because Radix is dead. What? Radix just got up before that, going through the mountain, and the Kamehameha after the Radix is already knocked out. I, my one question is, how is Radix not dead by now? No, that's okay, I guess. And Dragon Ball's Dragon Ball transition. I guess Radix has Radix has one more life to live, one more life to battle. And let's see, Goku's gonna go and hang out with Krillin on the same space. And I guess they have friend power and they get plus ten percent on something. It's a Japanese symbol, so I don't really understand it. But let's see, Krillin. Are you gonna try to finish off Radix? Yeah, yeah Krillin is yeah, going to try to finish off Radix. See if he can kill him in the last battle. All my training has paid off! All my bald head crazy training of Master Roshi. Well, it actually isn't. I guess he'd be like the strongest human in the game, but. He is really weak compared to all the other TZ fighters. And Rax actually starts with a heck of a lot of Kai power compared to Kuron. Rax starts with five bars. If he was a Saiyan, I could turn Super Saiyan, that would be enough to turn Super Saiyan. But. There's a Kamehameha! Yeah, and it looks like Rax is like on fire or steam or something, but. Kamehameha! Well, I really don't know if anybody can withstand that many Kamehamehas, no matter how weak they may be. And I know it can withstand that when his armor getting broken. But Kamehameha keeps using his super punches to beat up Rax and throw him into Mount. How many times can a guy get thrown in the mountain? Kamehameha! Versus Double Sunday. And they cancel each other out. Lame. Come on. You got this, crowd. Yeah. Beat him up. Beat him up. And they both miss on. Oh, wow. That kick to the head. Looks like he would have broke up in Kuro's school. But, this is a Dragon Ball Z game. So it's just like an anime. Oh wow, this looks like it hurt. Oh, that took off like a half a life bar. And Kuron gets up from my door somehow. And a Kamehameha! And the cancel out again. And Kuron is out of Kai bars. But he quickly turns one back from being out by Rex. And Rex is thrown into the air. Kamehameha! Wow, Radix definitely dodges the Kamehameha. I seem like it seems like I'm saying Kamehameha a lot in this review of this game. And Kuro slowly flies up to Radix to meet him in the air and kick him in the face. And the gut in the face. And super kick to the face. And kick and to take a double Sunday into the chest. Yes. I would make that noise too if I got hit by a double Sunday. Kamehameha! Oh a dodge! Rax isn't playing any games now, he's got the main base on, dodging all these command bases. But still, the battle isn't even close, and Kuron knocks him out. And, yep, that was a great knockout by Kuron. Kuron defeated Radix in an upset victory. Who knew that Kuron had it in him? And it's a Dragon Ball transition, and we get a skill for doing, defeating the evil Radix that wanted to destroy Earth. Well, so when no one's able to help Radix and Nappa are here at the same time, they were never here at the same time in the anime, but whatever. So now our focus is going to be 
Nappa for some battling. And let's see, Goku is the closest, so we're gonna try to get to Nappa with Goku. But we also gotta have Krillin go somewhere too. I guess Krillin can beat up on some of these same men that he's been beating up on. And yeah, Krillin says these guys are pretty tricky. Even though you just totally destroyed him last time, maybe they didn't even have a chance. But it's Krillin versus the same men. Good thing it's not Yamcha versus the same men because Yamcha didn't do very well. It was sad in the anime when Yamcha died from one of these minor characters that have, look like they have the brain on the outside of their head. And Krillin, it's a good start. For the same men taking off a quarter of his life bar in one combo. And the same men are just pretty cowardly. They will always run one away from Krillin. And wow, kicked in the face. That could have shattered any normal human face. But these little green monsters are tough. And they spew, spew acid out of their head. That's not a good thing. I would not want to find anything that spews acid out of his head. And wow, this green man is putting up a surprising good fight against Korn, who just beat up Radix, but Kamehameha! Kamehameha didn't destroy him. I cannot believe it. But, let's some blue kick did. It must have burned his insides, making it possible for Korn to just kick him and destroy him. But, there is another one on the way. Well, not on the way, he's already here, but Kamehameha! And he tries to dodge, but he gets hit with it. And he looks like he's dead. Of course, it's not. Because people have to look at this game. Kamehameha! But, they aren't. Yeah. Dead looking is Kamehameha! Is a trait of this game. But it seems like I have to pause my commentary every 10 seconds to say the Kamehameha. Words. It's just like the anime, you know, you have to pause every minute to for someone to go, Aaah! Yeah, when they're powering up. And the same man is knocked out. A little, little bit more of a challenge than last time, but I still uh, got the Kuro into a great victory. And so, Dragon Ball Z transition is a double of one Dragon Ball, and we get skill for beating up these pitiful Saiyan men. And whatever is something. Um, I believe you skills there. But you have to collect all the skills in this game to complete it 100%. And that level was very hard. The, the, the only time I completed this game 100%. I guess probably 10 years ago when it came out. And now it's time to fight for Goku to fight Nappa. And the Nappa fight is coming. Nappa. You guys get off of Earth right now. Well. Otherwise. Why would Nappa even listen to him? He doesn't know who Goku or Kakarot is or how powerful he is, so why would he be afraid of him? Also, this is why the anime doesn't make 100% to me. Nappa is like the buffest guy in here. He looks like he goes to the gym every second of every day, but he's one of the least powerful characters in the game. You know, he does and one of the least powerful characters in the anime. I mean, he's more powerful than Radix and some of the other characters, I mean, he beats them up on like Chao Su and Tien and things like that. But by how buff he looks, he looks like he should be the most powerful character in the game. And most powerful character in the anime, more powerful than Cell or anything. And he doesn't look powerful right now, he's really getting his butt kicked by Goku. And Kamehameha! And he turns his back on the Kamehameha, and so that must have hurt. Even though his armor is fine. So it's not going like how it went. Kamehameha! And the anime. This is an anime Goku, like, if I remember right, pretty much just kills him real quick. And Goku dodges down the way of this can and break cannon. And Goku keeps the assault on. Yeah, get some punches in there. And a Kamehameha! Wow, that looks like that would kill someone. And he's a King Ken. Uh, King Kai Fist, I guess it's called. Whatever times 20 so this increases his power level 20 times but he can only do it for a limited time can he be in Napa before he runs out of energy and that command may have missed and let's see how Napa's break cannon does wow Napa is doing pretty good against Goku Goku has 
half of his life bar away, or even more than half of his life bar gone away, and Nappa just wants to power up. It's great for Mappa to power up because it reminds me so much of the anime when they go all that. Oh, it's gonna power up for a long time. And Goku is trying to grab at Nappa, but to no avail. So he just kicks, kicks the crap out of him. And another break cannon. And Goku definitely dodges out of the way. And there's a stare down. What's going to go on next? And Goku blocks. Napa's punch and kicks him and kicks him and almost totally destroys him. And uh, there's a stalemate to stare down once again. And Goku misses on a punch terribly, but he gets him back with the kicks. And Napa is almost down for the count. Goku's power is over 9,000. And Napa's down and he looks dead. Not just knocked out, he looks dead. And I would assume after a battle like this, he'll be dead, not just knocked out, but I guess it has to be kind of kid friendly. Yeah. But whatever about that. And Goku has to fight one of these Saiyan now, because the Saiyan decided to use his turn to attack. And Goku looks kind of scared, I guess. I don't know why, but. Ah, can't you talk for real? Like, why would Goku assume that alien could talk for real? I guess Goku is really from another planet too, so why would we assume Goku could talk, talk like a person? But who's is, is Goku to judge what real talking is? I mean, the alien is from another planet, so if he says "gah" and that means something on another planet, that's real talking. Goku's a kind of bigot. Come on, come on! And yeah, the same man looks like he's dead. Or at least gonna die pretty soon. But wow, Sandman's going about offensive. And shooting acid at Goku. And Goku looks like he's in trouble. He's getting hit by all these energy beams. And Goku's missing punches left and right. The Sandman's. <coughs> getting the better of Goku. But Goku regains control of the match. And. has. Kamehameha! Has a match in his hands, and down goes the Sandman. Bye bye, Sandman. But then another one appears to attack Goku. And the new match starts. With Sandman as the underdog. But there's a Kamehameha! Kamehameha! Goku lands a Kamehameha! And he's running punches left and right. Destroying the health bar of the same man. And the same man punches Goku with his pointy claws and knocks him up into the air. Let's see what the same man has in it. his bag of tricks. It looks like not much. Goku is um, really dominating this match. And uh, shooting lots of energy beams. But, oh. Same man almost hits Goku with acid, but Goku counters and knocks him out onto the ground. Bye bye, Saiyan man. Goku wins the match. And another Dragon Ball transition. And we get some skill for for beating the Saiyan man. And looks like it's gonna be a new turn. So another Saiyan man pops up. And it's Krillin needs to go somewhere, so Krillin's going to the left. Oh, there's a really exciting gameplay. And it's going to be Goku versus Nappa once again. And this game is pretty competitive, uh, repetitive, repetitive, I guess. And the super strong looking guy is going up against Goku. Yeah. Skip that stuff because it's not the greatest voice acting. But whatever. Gotta defeat the enemy. Yeah, I pretty much assume that. That if I'm gonna get into battle, I'm gonna defeat the enemy. But whatever. And so, Nappa's trying to intimidate Goku. Physically intimidate Goku by bumping into him, but Goku just kicks the crap out of him. And Goku just keeps kicking. But Nappa runs a great kick to Goku's chest. Like Goku. 
goes back on the offensive and does a Kamehameha! And Nappa's life bar is almost all the way gone. This game is pretty easy sometimes. I guess I need to put up to a harder setting, but whatever. I don't. Kamehameha! Oh and Goku tried to Kamehameha and Nappa countered. But I don't claim to be the best at this game, I just want to show the gameplay, so it's not the hardest difficulty. And Nappa's actually taking it to Goku. He countered all Goku's moves, and Goku is about to go into the yellow light bar. And Nappa has him into the yellow light bar. And it's throwing energy beams at him left and right. And a brake cannon. Goku is looking like he's in trouble. Oh no. What is Goku going to do now? And let's see if he can hit with a Kamehameha. And Goku just barely gets the Kamehameha in before Nappa hits the bomb with TX. And then the Kamehameha. And Nappa totally dodges that. It wasn't even close. And so, Goku is hitting with punches left and right again. Goku's got the upper hand of the match once again. And Nappa is into his red life bar. Like, what will Goku do now? Goku shoots an energy beam at Nappa. And, this looks like him pretty much. Gets him some punches. And a Kamehameha! Boom. Even though there's a Kamehameha. Nappa's armor is still 100% intact. And Nappa's cowering and does a double axe handle to Goku's head. But yet, yeah, none of them are bleeding. Oh. And a Bomber DX right to Goku. It looks like it would set him on fire. But Goku is 100% okay. And he kicks Nappa in the back of the leg. And Nappa falls over dead. Well, I thought he would fall over dead. But of course, in this game, no one falls over dead. And, yep. This is shooting energy beams back and forth. So, I just want to tell you after this battle, I'm going to stop playing. And I want to thank you for watching the uh, complete part of this game. And Napa is knocked out for the count. And thanks for watching.